This interview includes spoilers for Wednesday's season finale of Little Fires Everywhere. The Hulu miniseries Little Fires Everywhere reached its blazing conclusion on Wednesday, with the Richardson children setting the family home aflame after their mother, Elena, evicted the Warrens and practically disowned her own daughter Izzy. But arriving at that climax, which diverges significantly from the one in the best-selling Celeste Ng novel that inspired the series, took plenty of hard thought and emotional conversation in the writer's room. The book approaches race sideways, with most of its politics rooted in class struggle, predation and privilege. This changed when Kerry Washington was cast in the role of Mia Warren, joining Reese Witherspoon, already installed in the role of Elena. So before starting work on reconfiguring the story, the showrunner, Liz Tigelar, assigned her writers to read another book, Robin Diangelo's White Fragility, Why It's So Hard For White People To Talk About Racism. Among other things, Dying Gello's book discusses interlocking forces of oppression, the cages we're in, and our inability to see the bars of the cage. Tigelar found that image to be visually resonant within the context of Engie's story, including Mia's photo sculptural art pieces, especially the last of them, a white flower-covered representation of Shaker Heights, Ohio, that uses a literal bird cage to communicate how she sees Elena and the Richardson home. On the last day in the room, the writers debated what should happen when Elena sees Mia's piece. What if we make it a comment on race and class? Tigelar asked her diverse group of writers. Attica Locke, one of the writers, noted that the fact that you can separate race and class from motherhood is a privilege. There was talk about having Witherspoon's Elena dismantle the birdcage as an act of liberation, but another writer, Shannon Houston, objected, I really don't like a story that ends with a white woman destroying a black woman's art. Tigelar said, it was a truth that's hard to hear, and it really changed how we viewed the ending. During a phone interview, she discussed why the writers diverged from the book at key moments, the ending, the abortion storyline, and how an act of arson freed the characters from themselves. Here are edited excerpts from the conversation. In the book, readers learn right away that Izzy set the little fires everywhere that burned down the Richardson house. But in the show, Izzy intends to start the fire but it's her siblings who actually ignite it. Why did you make that change? Celeste Engie's book is so beautifully nuanced, and it was a real challenge to figure out how to bring to life the interior thoughts, the prose, the backstories. I felt like the ending was a place where we could go even deeper into the layers and the complexity.